let's talk about a, a drilling company, an oil company coming to your town and getting set up to drill there. And you as, an, as a citizen want to protest that you want to file a grievance with the government to try to prevent the drilling from taking place. What if that cost five thousand dollars to do? Would that be a violation of your of your free speech imposed on you by the government? The Digital Journal is reporting on House Resolution one nine six five. It's known as the Federal Land Jobs and Energy Security Act, and it passed the House. Uh, it passed the House. It now needs to go to the Senate and, and ultimately to President Obama. The bill contains a benefits package for oil companies that want to lease land from the federal government for drilling purposes. And there's several provisions in there that are now being criticized as violating free speech, as being detrimental to the environment. And the bill was sponsored by Representative Lamborn of Colorado and co-sponsored by Representative Duncan of South Carolina and Kramer of North Dakota, all Republicans. And here's the interesting part. The oil and gas industry was the number one campaign contributor to both of the co sponsors. It's a total coincidence, Lewis, that two elected officials who got the, the plurality of their money from these same oil and gas companies decide to co sponsor a bill that's incredibly skewed in their favor and against any of their potential critics. They're immune from the influence of money, Lewis. It's not a corrupt system. They get the money from the oil and gas companies. Yes, but then they would have voted or co-sponsored this absolutely regardless. Their position would be no different. If they're willing uh, at all to just crap on the First Amendment like this, <laughs> um, maybe it doesn't have anything to do with the money. Maybe these guys just, uh, I don't know, just want to watch this country burn. Well, Democrat uh, from Texas, Rep uh, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee put in an amendment to clarify the impact on the First Amendment because there's a portion of the bill which requires a five thousand dollar fee be paid from a citizen if you want to lodge a formal protest against actions occurring on these publicly owned lands. It's public land. The oil companies want to lease it. If you as a citizen want to protest that lease, it costs five thousand dollars to uh, it's a, it's called a documentation fee to accompany each protest. Hey, Lewis, it's a level playing field, right? The huge corporations with millions or hundreds of millions or billions of dollars, they can apply to drill places and average people can protest it for five thousand dollars. See, it's totally equitable. Yeah, five thousand dollars. That's nothing, David. I mean, come on, Every, everyone can. That's like five cents. Um, it's really no big deal. And it's just a way to keep things balanced to pay for your voice to be heard at the five thousand dollar level to me, Lewis. It's not like when people were angry about Dr. Laura using the N word. So she quit and claimed her First Amendment rights were being violated. It's not like when people are so offended by racist comments by Paula Dean that it no longer makes sense for Food Network, a private company to have her on the air. And she thinks or her followers think her First Amendment rights were violated. This is the government instituting a five thousand dollar barrier to filing a complaint against private companies using public land. Maybe this actually is a violation of the First Amendment. I think it is. Um, I think if this were to pass, it won't. But if it were to pass, um, I think that the ACLU would make sure that anybody who does protest here uh, in these cases never faces any charges or fines. And I bet you that they would succeed in that. Yeah, the ACLU is involved in fighting this amendment. So there it is, 5,000 bucks to uh, protest private usage of public land.